Hi, I'm Laura from the Helena Family YMCA, and I'm about to do a 30-minute silver sneaker class. Uh, silver sneakers is an older adult class for a little strength, range of motion, uh, flexibility. Um, we'll have lots of fun. I normally, if when I'm in class, I have music going, but because of copyright reasons, <laughs> that's my cat. Um, I. Uh, I don't play music during these uh, online videos, so if you have something that, like some music in the background, if you want to play, that kind of gets you up and moving, feel free to do that. You're going to need weight, hand weights or something to substitute as weights. I'm just using a couple of canned beans, um, something that's not too heavy, not too light, that fit comfortably in your hand. Um, couple canned goods is good. A water bottle, you can use a couple water bottles. You also should just use a water bottle because we're going to have a break, a water break, a small one here halfway through and staying hydrated is important. <clears throat> You're also going to need a chair. Mine, here's mine. So the chair, we will be sitting in the chair but we also use the chair as support when we're standing and warming up here in the beginning. Uh, nothing that rocks, you don't know, want anything that rocks or has or it's on wheels so it doesn't roll. Um, and nothing that folds, so a folding chair can always just collapse underneath you. So make sure it's pretty sturdy, can hold your weight. <clears throat> um, we're also make sure that your area is clear of debris. We're moving around, marching and stuff to warm up a little bit. You just gotta make sure that, like, everything is clear and you're not gonna be able to trip over anything. Make sure you, if you're wearing shoes, you're wearing the proper shoes. Something like flip flops or slippers, you can easily kind of trip and fall over them. See, here's here's my shoes, nice lace up shoes, and we're gonna have we're gonna give our, grab our stuff. We're going to get started here. Make sure that you store your stuff uh, out of the way. <clears throat> I put mine underneath my chair. But if you have like a coffee table or a bookshelf or something like that nearby that you could just stick it on, that that's a good option too. But just you just got to make sure that it's not underfoot where you can trip over it. So let's let's get started. <clears throat> All right, we're going to start with a march. We're going to start by getting warmed up. <clears throat> Just march back and forth. Get the arms moving, get the legs moving. Let's Arms up, breathe up, and out. Sweep the ground up and down again. All right, good. Push those arms forward, heel tap in front. <clears throat> All right, good. We're going to go heel tap and or toe tap and back. Push those arms back. All right, good. We're going to have our arm across our body, tap to the side. Make sure that when you know Anytime you get fatigued or winded or dizzy, if you need to take a break for any reason, go ahead, take a break, sit down, take a breather, just come in whenever you're ready. That's up to the sky. All right, let's hands on our hips. We're going to rotate our hips. 
Just get them loosened up here, stirring the pot. Let's go the other direction. All right, good. We're going to have our feet together. We're going to rotate those knees. And other direction. Good. March again for a second. We're going to do some squats, so let's have our hand, feet right underneath our hips. If you need a chair for support with one hand or maybe even two hands, that's what it's there for. So feet right underneath your hips. We're going to just come down in a squat and up. Like you're about to sit in a chair, but then you come back up. Be sure you're going at your range of motion. Some people can go down farther, some not so much. That's all right. Just meet your body where it's at. All right, good. We're going to bring one foot planted right here, the other foot back just a little bit. And uh, this back leg is just a kickstand for just a little bit of balance, support. And we're going to go ahead and do a short stride lunge. Use that chair if you need it. And make sure that you, if you need to go slower, or maybe even faster than I am, go right ahead. All right, we're going to switch legs. the legs nice and warmed up. All right, good. Shake them out just a little bit. Let's go ahead and find our chair. I'm going to safely pick up those hand weights. Right here, we're going to have them down by our side and rotate our wrist. <clears throat> Let's go the other direction. All right, we're going to shrug our shoulders up to our ears and then relax. And relax right up to our ears and all the way down all right good let's make sure our posture is set so you roll those shoulders up back and down put them in our pocket make sure that back is nice and straight we're gonna have our palms faced out we're gonna do some bicep curls so up and down. Nice smooth motion. <clears throat> All the way down every time. Not quite to the top. Make sure our body's not rocking back and forth. Our core is nice and engaged. All right, good. Two more. All right, we're going to do our triceps. So we're going to take one. We're going to point our elbow to the sky. We can always give that elbow a little bit of support if we need it. Straighten it and relax. Straighten and relax. Let's do two more and down. Good. Give that arm a rest. We're going to do the other one. Elbow to the sky. Straighten and relax. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 
two more. All right, good. And down. Four and a half. With our, our elbows out in front of us, 90 degrees. We're going to bring one up and then the other. Just working our shoulders here. Let's do one more each side and down. Good. Roll the shoulders for a second. A lot of work there. <clears throat> All the way to our side. We're going to come up to the side and deck back down. Up and down. Not any farther up than your shoulders. You don't want to, you don't want to go way up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, good. We're going to come back right behind us. And let's go forward. One more. Good. We're going to take one. One of these. Bring it down to our foot. Up to the sky. So it's like we're picking something up off the floor and then putting it up on a shelf. I'm going to make sure that arm is forward, that you can always see that. So it's not behind you. <clears throat> Let's do two more. Right, good. Let's switch sides. So rest this arm here. Take this one, pull it to our foot, and up. Down to the ground. Make sure that's forward so you can not behind you. You can support your weight a little bit with this arm here on your thigh if you need to. All right, good. <clears throat> Have those right here in front. We're going to turn. Our, our bodies are nice and straight, nice upright, chest up and nice and proud to the side and to the middle, other side, middle. Nice twist in our bodies. Feels good to me anyway. One more each side. All right, good. Can still right here. We're going to make a big circle right here in front. Let's go the other direction. All right, good. Let's have a water break and pull these down for a second. We'll pick them back up. <clears throat> Get some water. Make sure you're staying hydrated. All right, let's put that away. Safely pick up those cans or hand weights. <clears throat> Work our legs just a little bit, give our arms a break. I'm going to march those legs. And let's 
pick it up. You can stay with the march if you need to. Good. We're going to bring our heels up and back and down, keeping those toes on the floor. <clears throat> Squeeze at the top and relax. All right, good. We're going to do the opposite. So we'll have our heels planted to the ground. We bring our toes up in front. All right, good. We're going to have one knee. We're going to bring it up and to the side and then back. Practicing getting out of the car or up from the table. Good strength in that leg. Two more. All right, we're going to switch sides. So just do the other side now. There we go. Good job. Good. I'm going to make sure you're face forward, back is nice and straight. We're going to take one leg, teardrop shape, down. Your teardrop shape can be smaller than mine, and that's okay. Let's do the other side away, or maybe even bigger. Do the other side. Other direction. Hey. All right, good. Let me say hi to him up here. All right, we're going to do some range of motion, so let's put these down, put them out of the way. Let's bring our hands to our side. We're going to bring them up, reach up to the top, and down. Up, reach to the top, and down. I think she wants to play. Reach up, up to the top, and down. All right, this time, something a little different. Up, we're going to bring one arm forward, one arm back. Up, one arm forward, one arm back. A couple more times. Right, we're going to switch sides. So bring them up, other arm forward, <coughs> excuse me, other arm back, up, and down. Up, and down. We're going to do one more set here, up, and down. Good. Roll those shoulders. We're going to do a little bit of hand work, so let's Lay those fingers out. We're going to meet our fingers to our fingers. We're going to try to squeeze them together and relax. Push those hands together and relax. 
Hand strength, very important. Right? Right, Kenton? Huh? This is Gail here. And one more. All right, let's go ahead and shake those out just a little bit, wiggle the fingers. Prayer hands, we're gonna squeeze those together and relax. Squeeze those palms together like you're squishing something and relax. Squeeze, relax, do it a couple more times. One more. All right, good. Go ahead and shake those out a little bit. Wiggle the fingers. Good. Pet the cat. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't attack me. See how much she wants to play. All right. Take one arm. We're going to come up to this, have our arms to the side. Twist to the center and to the other side. Center to the other way. If your arms get tired, you can have them come to center or we'll just rest here on your shoulder on your thighs. Have your mat is a nice strength move. All right, we're going to have hands right here on our thighs. Lean a little forward. Not too far. Squeeze our shoulders and relax. Squeeze the shoulders. Relax. Do a couple more. All right, right up, right. Hands by our side. Come forward and up. <clears throat> forward and up. Good core work. One more. Good. All right. Let's bring one arm up and down. Other arm, you can support your hand here if you need to on your chair. Reach up. One side and the other. All right, good. <clears throat> Let's have a heel out in front. We're gonna go ahead and stretch. So lean a little forward, just support your weight here on your thigh. Go ahead and do the other side. So heel out in front, support your weight on your thigh, lean a little forward. All right, good. Have your ankle on your thigh. It can be a little low, lower if you need it to be. If this is a little too uncomfortable. Lean a little forward or just get a good stretch. Make sure you can support your weight here if you need to. <clears throat> Go ahead and straighten up. We're going to rotate that ankle. And other way. Point and flex that toe. 
switch legs. Lean forward, give that a good stretch. Let's straighten up. Go ahead and rotate that ankle. <coughs> Excuse me. Other direction. Point and flex that toe. All right, good. We're going to bring one arm all the way across our body. Make sure that shoulder is nice and relaxed so you can get a good stretch in right across your body. And relax. Go to the other side. Right, we're going to have our arms out wide. We're going to pull those arms back. We're trying to get a good stretch in those, those chest muscles. Pull those thumbs down and back. Try to get a little bit of bicep in here. All right, good. We're going to bring an elbow up. You can push it back or pull it back. <clears throat> Other side. All right, drop those arms. <clears throat> And close those hands. Rotate the wrist. Other direction. Good. We're going to have our legs out wide. Hands on our thighs. We're going to round our back. Arch to the floor. Round the back. Arch it to the floor. One more set. All right, good. Nice neutral spine. Drop one shoulder. Let's pause here for a second. Up, other shoulder. All right, let's straighten up. Our bodies feel good. Let's breathe up. All the way to the top, fill up those lungs and down. Let's do it again. And down. Well, thank you everyone for joining me. Making our bodies feel good making sure we're moving and not being stagnant so we can keep that flexibility up, that strength up. And I hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.